In this video, we'll be talking about how to convert a molecule drawn as a Newman projection into a line diagram. So we're gonna take a molecule, same molecule, just different perspectives, right? Start off as a Newman projection and then redraw it as a line diagram. So how do we do that? So what we're gonna do, so this Newman projection I've drawn here, before we actually get into how to do this, it might be helpful to just tell a little story, actually not even really telling a story, just using an analogy to help to understand how we're gonna do this. And so it's something you do in everyday life. Okay, so imagine you're, you meet your friend on the street, and this is your friend here, um, and your friend, let's say, has very interesting fashion decisions. So say that they like to wear um, shoes, the green shoes on their left foot, and let's say I've drawn this circle as a shoe, um, you can tell, and the red shoe on their right foot. So they're also in, fond of mitts. They like to wear different colored mitts as well, because it's kind of cold. We have a blue mitt on their right hand, and then we're gonna have a, a pink mitt on their left hand, okay? Let's just imagine. So here's our friend, we see him on the street, waves out his hand, he goes, hey, how's it going? Now, imagine that you want to tell your friend, okay, great, can I have a better look at your left shoulder? Can you show me a little bit more detail, your left hand and your left foot? I wanna have a closer look. So turn, turn to the left, because clearly this is the left side of the person. This is their left hand, right? And this is their right hand. So actually, I guess from their perspective, um, you know, they'd be turning. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Remember, they're just going to be facing us. The left side is facing us. That's really what, what counts here. So what would that look like? What would it look like if that person is facing us? They, they turn a little bit towards us from the left. Now remember, in chemistry, we want to show things that are pointing out towards us with wedged lines and things that are pointing away from us as dashed lines. So the things that are going to be pointing towards us if they do this are the left foot, okay, and then the left hand would also be pointing towards us as well. And therefore, the right foot would be pointing away and the right hand would be pointing away as well, right? And the one thing that hasn't changed is this axis. So the axis doesn't change. This is still in the plane, and this is still in the plane, right? That hasn't changed. Now imagine we also want to see the, the right shoulder. So turn, turn to the right. So we ask them to turn the opposite direction. What is that going to look like? Well, we can redraw everything, except in this case, we're gonna see their right hand is gonna be pointing towards us, and their left hand and left foot, their right hand and right foot will be pointing towards us, their left hand and left foot will be pointing away. So we would have, this is now a wedge, this is now a wedge, and left is now a dash, and this is now a dash. Okay, so and again, the axis doesn't really change. All right, that hasn't changed. So just, we're looking at them straight on. If they turn one direction, they turn the other direction, it's gonna change our perspective. So what we're gonna do with our new in projection, okay, when we're converting this to a line diagram, is we're gonna have to choose our axis. So just like our axis was the, the plane was this person, the, the person's torso, we're gonna have to choose an axis when we're converting our Newman. And usually when we're looking at a Newman, I like to think of a Newman as a clock. So, you know, you've got 12 o'clock up here, you've got six o'clock down here. You always wanna pick your, your axis is gonna be along the 12 to six axis. It's just gonna be easier this way. So anything along this line is gonna be your axis. And, and remember the Newman, this has just sort of been drawn offset a little bit. That means that, that our CH3 is actually in the same plane as our other CH3. So this is, this is kind of our, our axis. This is gonna be in the same plane. Now imagine that we asked the same, we wanted to do the same thing. We wanted to turn, turn to the left. Okay, so what would that mean? Well. Our axis is not going to, well actually before we even do that, let's, 
let's redraw this a little bit actually because remember how the Newman projection the Newman projection we're looking along a carbon carbon bond and so one of these carbon bonds is kind of hidden from sight so it might help if we take these the front part of our Newman and we're going to kind of dissociate it from the back part we're going to look at it from a slightly different angle and I've drawn the front part which is actually going to draw the front part here CH3 and we have H and then we have OH and then you've got the back part of your Newman which is CH3 CL H and you can kind of connect these two parts through a bond this is looking at it from a different angle so and we call this uh, the sawhorse projection so this is the saw sawhorse because we're looking at it from a slightly different angle maybe I should actually redraw this a little bit make it a little bit more vivid okay so CH3 So CH3 and then we have our chlorine and then we have our uh, hydrogen here. Okay, now by the same logic as we did before, here's our H, here's our CL, here's our OH, and here's our other H. If we decide that this is the plane, this is the axis that we're going to turn this about, this is going to be in the same plane. So we're going to rotate this just like we rotated our person on the bottom here so that we're going to keep everything that's in the plane is going to be in the plane of the page and everything which is um, sort of on the right hand side here is going to be pointing out at us. So let's redraw what that would look like in a line diagram. So we'd have our axis, which looks like this. We'd have CH3, CH3. And then our green, since it's being redrawn and, and tilted towards us, okay, it's going to be pointing out of the page. So we're gonna have, that's pointing out, and that's pointing out. And so that would be H and chlorine pointing out. And then we have the other H is pointing, this H is pointing back and this OH is pointing back. So that would be one way to rotate our Newman projection into a sawhorse. And then we could rotate it around even further so that the H and the CL are pointing towards us. So we've, I guess, rotated it um, so that it says that these H and the CL are pointing in front. Okay. Now we could actually do this a slightly different way. We could also have redrawn it so that we have CH3, H, and OH. We could do it so that CH3 is on the left instead. So we have H, um, CH3, H, and uh, sorry, CH3 and CL and H, and we could instead connect th these bonds like so, so that these are the new plane. And if we were to rotate this even further, let's actually let's let's just make sure that we've got all of our bonds correctly. So OH and this green would be our H and this would be our H, this would be our CL. CL. And if we rotate this even further towards us, then we would, again, keeping this as our axis, it's gonna remain in the plane of the page, then we would have CH3, CH3, now the H is going to be pointing towards us, this blue H. 
and the OH is going to be pointing towards us, and the H and the CL are going to be pointing away from us. CL and H. So like that. So again, it, we're just rotating it. I think it might help, like I said, to, to first look at your Newman, then make a sawhorse because there it's a little bit more clear where your carbon-carbon bonds are. And then you can just keep kind of continue the rotation process so that you can um, have your groups, which are sort of on the left-hand side now, point out of the page. So that's just two examples of how to convert a Newman projection into a line diagram. Like I said, maybe draw the sawhorse first and rotate it first. But it's a lot like just the same skill you would use if you just imagine looking at a person on the street and, and what you would see if you asked them to either rotate one direction towards you or the other direction towards you. And just mad, just keeping track of what's in the plane of the page and what's out of the plane of the page and, and, um, and what's behind the plane of the page. And once you do that, hopefully you'll find that this wouldn't actually be too difficult a skill to acquire. So I hope you find this helpful.